Hello friends! Today I'm going to tell you the story of a scary character from Avatar World. His name is Jack and he is the most unusual character in the game. That's because Jack is an alien. Jack has a sister named Everida, but I'll talk about her a little later. Alien Jack didn't get into Avatar World by accident at all. He has an important secret mission that no one knows about, but today I'm going to tell you about it. Jack works as an undercover agent, among other aliens, and he was sent to Avatar World to find out an important secret. This secret is located right at the train station. The secret that Jack came to Avatar World for is the magic paint. The magic of this paint is that it can turn any person into a statue. Jake had to find her and take her to his planet, where she was created. Jake went up to the statue man and asked him for his paint. A human statue named Dustin is scared of an alien, but they soon became good friends, and Dustin gave away his paint. Jake was very happy, and soon he returned this magical item to his alien friends. Now all the aliens can have fun turning into statues, and Jake began to fly to Avatar World more often to have fun with Dustin. Now I will tell you the story of an amazing character. You already know her story. I talked about her in a previous video. Her name is Avrita, and she accidentally arrived in the Avatar world from another planet. One day she had an accident in her spaceship, and Avrita had to teleport to the world of Avatar world, where she accidentally ended up in a skateboard shop and met Mason. He found a first aid kit and helped Avrita treat her wounds. They became friends and shared stories about their respective planets. They talked for a long time, but Avrita had to return to her home planet. They said their goodbyes, but before leaving, she promised to come back. A year passed, and Mason continued working at the same place. One day, after finishing his work, he stayed behind to practice tricks on his new skateboard. Suddenly, he heard strange but familiar sounds. He decided to investigate, and to his surprise, he saw his old friend. Mason and Avrita reunited and were thrilled to see each other again. Avrita said she had come specifically to meet Mason. They talked for a few more hours and Mason showed Evrita some skateboard tricks. The next day, Mason showed Evrita around the Avatar world. They ate ice cream, pizza, and burgers together. They also visited a pet shop and a basketball court. Everything was new and different for Evrita compared to her own world. At the end of the day, Mason decided to teach Evrita a simple skateboard trick, which she enjoyed the most. She was very grateful to Mason. Evrita had visited many planets, but nowhere did she enjoy herself as much as in the Avatar world. When the time came to say goodbye, Evrita and Mason realized that their bond was strong, and they were willing to do everything possible to stay together. They promised each other to keep in touch and do everything they could to meet again. Thus, Evrita and Mason became not only best friends, but inseparable partners who would continue to explore worlds and adventures together. That's how a skateboard shopkeeper and an extraterrestrial being became best friends. Now, I will tell you the story of an amazing character. You have known this story for a very long time. His name is Jason, and you can find him in the baby clothing store that recently opened in Avatar World. One day, something incredible happened to him. In a baby clothing store in Avatar World, there was a woman named Emily. She was poor and tried her best to provide for her young son, Mike. Every day, she would come to the store but couldn't afford to buy new clothes for Mike because all her resources went towards the essentials. One day, Jason noticed Emily standing in front of the shelves, looking sadly at the price tags. He saw her distress and realized she couldn't afford the purchase. Jason decided to do something special. He approached Emily and asked if she needed help. Emily shared her difficulties and how she couldn't afford new clothes for Mike. Jason listened attentively and made a decision. Without saying a word, he began gathering several sets of beautiful clothes for Mikey. Then he returned into Emily and said he wanted to give her all those items as a gift. Emily was shocked by this act of kindness and gratefully accepted the offer. Years passed and Mike grew into a healthy and successful young man. His mother would often tell him about the kind person who helped their family, and he never forgot Jason's kindness. When Mike became wealthy, he decided to show his gratitude to Jason. Mike found Jason and invited him to dinner at a luxurious restaurant. There, in front of all the guests, Mike thanked Jason for his generosity and kindness, which had changed his and his mother's lives. He said that because of this act of kindness, he saw that even in a world where money held great value, people could do good deeds and help others selflessly. They had a long conversation, and suddenly Mike revealed that he owned the restaurant and several other establishments throughout Avatar World. Jason was shocked by this statement, and then Mike said that he wanted to gift the restaurant as a token of gratitude for helping his family, and he wouldn't take no for an answer. Jason accepted the gift and became the owner of one of the most famous restaurants in Avatar World. This story reminds us that kindness and generosity can have long-lasting impacts on people's lives, and gratitude and appreciation can be expressed even after many years when individuals achieve success. It also shows that good deeds always lead to positive outcomes. 
Now, I will tell you the story of an amazing character. You have known it for a long time. Her name is Haley, and she works in a baby clothing store that recently appeared in Avatar World. One day, something incredible happened to her. Haley loved children very much and took great care of the items that came into her store. After another day of work, Haley stayed behind to arrange the new shoes on the shelves. After she finished, Haley decided to take a nap in the armchair because she was very tired. She had just fallen asleep when she suddenly heard strange squeaking sounds. She got up to inspect the store and noticed a little puppy. It was happily running running around and playing with its tennis ball. Haley couldn't understand how it had gotten into the store since the door was closed and it was already dark outside. Suddenly, the puppy ran up to Haley and she recognized it as the puppy she had in her childhood. She was very surprised and cried tears of joy because the puppy had gone missing many years ago. Haley had loved it dearly when it was little and she had given it that tennis ball as a gift. That night, Haley spent in the store playing with her old friend. By morning, she was a bit tired and decided to sleep in the same armchair as another workday was approaching. Haley woke up when the first customers entered the store and she remembered that while they were playing, they had accidentally scattered clothes from the shelves. But when she looked around, everything was in its place and she felt disappointed. Her beloved puppy hadn't actually returned to her. Approaching the spot where she had first found her old friend, Haley found the same tennis ball. And then she realized that they had truly met. She shared the story with her family, but no one believed her. Now I will tell you a story about a charming heroine named Gloria. She often visits a children's clothing store and loves to relax in nature with her dog named Jax. One day, something amazing happened to her. On that day in the Avatar world, the weather was perfect for outdoor activities. Gloria couldn't pass up such a day. She gathered some food and everything necessary for an active outdoor adventure and camping in the woods. Gloria didn't have many friends, but Jax was always by her side, and they always enjoyed their rest together. They made their way to a cozy clearing surrounded by the forest. Gloria set up the tent where she and Jax would spend the night for the campfire and decided to spend some time doing yoga. While Jax played with butterflies and bees, joyfully jumping and trying to catch them. Gloria remembered that she had brought a fishing rod and decided to try her luck at fishing. She managed to catch a few small fish and she was pleased with the result. As the evening approached, Gloria and Jax enjoyed the sunset and decided it was time to go to sleep. They quickly fell asleep to the chirping of crickets when suddenly Gloria heard a voice not far from the tent. She decided to check where the voice was coming from. Approaching her was a girl dressed as a forest ranger. Gloria went to her to find out what was going on. The girl explained that she came to warn the campers about a dangerous missing bear and asked them to leave the forest by morning for their safety. Gloria thanked the girl and decided not to wait until morning, but to pack up immediately. Jax was still asleep. When Gloria packed her backpack, it was still dark to make it back home. But they had been to this place many times before and both of them knew the way to the city by heart. But as soon as they moved away from the spot, a loud roar echoed through the area. Jax and his owner were frightened and couldn't move. The roar repeated and a little bear cub emerged from the bushes. It was scared and hungry. As soon as Gloria saw it, she understood who the ranger was talking about. This little bear cub roared as if it were an adult bear. Gloria fed and calmed it down. Jax also liked the cub. On that day, Gloria realized that she couldn't leave it alone. And now she is the only one in the Avatar world with such an unusual pet. Hello friends. Now I will tell you the secret of a character who recently appeared in the Avatar world. His name is Mason, and he works as a salesman. However, he has a secret that no one in the town knows. But now I will tell you. Mason is an ordinary shopkeeper, but one day something amazing happened that no one in the town would believe. After finishing his work day, Mason stayed a bit longer to tidy up the store. He was about to leave when he heard a strange sound coming from the other end of the store. He decided to investigate because everyone had already left. Mason saw a strange light and felt drawn towards it. As he approached, the light dispersed, and he saw a creature that resembled a human. He got scared and started to run, but suddenly, for some reason, he stopped. Mason noticed that the strange being in front of him was a frightened girl who seemed like an alien. He approached her and they started talking. The alien explained that she was from another planet and ended up here accidentally. She had injured herself along the way, which was preventing her from returning home. Mason was shocked by his new acquaintance, but decided to help. He found a first aid kit and assisted in treating her wounds. She thanked him for his help, gave him a pair of shoes from her planet that made Mason stronger and opened it a portal to her world. Mason tried to share this story with his friends, but no one believed him. He showed them his new technological logically advanced sneakers, but everyone thought that Mason had made them himself. However, now Mason is one of the strongest individuals in the Avatar world. Now friends, I will tell you a secret about a character from the Avatar world that you probably know very little about. This girl's name is Catherine. She is still very young, but once an amazing story happened to her. Catherine was a student in the lower grades and always prepared well for her lessons. One day, during a regular history class, 
the teacher told a story about a secret object hidden somewhere within the school walls, which grants its possessor boundless knowledge. The students didn't believe this tale, but Catherine understood that she had to learn more about this incredible story. After class, she approached the teacher to find out more, and he told Catherine that the secret object was called the Cup of Knowledge, and it truly existed. It was created by ancient masters to pass on their knowledge to future generations. The key was hidden somewhere inside the school, and only those who possessed a special gift and a genuine passion for knowledge could find it. Catherine was excited by this story and decided that she had to find the key. She began studying and exploring the school, paying attention to every detail detail and every mysterious inscription on the walls. With each passing day, Catherine learned more about the school and its history. She interacted with teachers and older students, asking them questions and examining ancient records. During her investigation, she discovered various enigmatic symbols and clues that could lead to the cup. And then she learned that the cup only appeared in the school at night, in a secret box. Catherine came to the school when it got dark, checked all the boxes, and only one remained locked. It had a riddle written on it that needed to be solved to open the box. Catherine pondered for a long time, but remembering everything she had learned while searching for the cup, she correctly answered the question and the box opened. Catherine found the very cup that granted her boundless knowledge, and she decided to share it with everyone who was interested. She became the youngest teacher in the entire Avatar world. The next character whose story I'm going to tell you today will be a girl named Stella. Stella works in a baby clothing store, and she appeared in the game quite recently. She always dreamed of working in a baby clothing store. The girl loved to take care of her plush bunnies and dress them in different outfits. One day she saw an announcement that a new baby clothing store was opening in the city and decided to try to get a job there. Stella was very worried when she came to the interview. She put on her most beautiful outfit, which she sewed herself from old things. She had bunny ears on her head, which she decorated with flowers. She thought it would emphasize her love for babies and animals. When she entered the store, she was amazed by its beauty and comfort. Everywhere there were shelves with colorful clothes, toys, and accessories for kids. In the center of the store, there was a large sofa with pillows and blankets where you could relax and read books. Stella felt that she had entered her paradise. She walked over to the counter where a woman in a white lab coat with a badge that said manager was standing. Stella introduced herself and said that she had come for an interview. The woman smiled and asked Stella about her work experience, education, and hobbies. Stella told her that she had dreamed of working in such a store all her life. She said that Stella was perfect for the job at the store and that she was willing to take her on probation. Stella couldn't believe her luck. She thanked the woman gratefully. She was so happy that she almost cried with joy. Stella thought that this was the beginning of her new life and a new career. Now, I will tell you a story about an amazing character. You have known her for a long time. Her name is Megan, and she often comes to the skate park to ride her skateboard and buy new clothes because she loved collecting them. One day, something incredible happened to her. Megan, as usual, came to choose a few new items for her wardrobe and try out a couple of simple tricks. She approached the cashier to pay for her clothes, and the cashier told her about a new contest in honor of the skate park's opening. The winner of the coolest trick would receive a golden helmet. Megan became interested in the new contest and decided to participate. She put her purchases in a bag and headed to the skate park to showcase her skills and, perhaps, win the golden helmet. When Megan arrived at the skate park, she noticed that a considerable crowd had gathered. Everyone was eagerly waiting to see the cool tricks from the contest participants. Megan took her skateboard and approached the starting point. She decided to perform a simple trick to warm up, but suddenly she stumbled and fell to the ground. Megan was very disappointed, but she still had one more attempt after the other participants demonstrated their tricks. While she was preparing for the next trick, one of the judges approached her and asked her to leave the contest because Megan had injured her leg. She refused, although she was feeling the pain. Finally, it was Megan's turn. He decided to take a risk and perform an incredible trick that no one in Avatar World had ever seen before. She jumped down and successfully executed the jump. Everyone was in shock. Megan won the contest and took home the coveted prize. Now everyone knew her name. After this small contest, professional athletes noticed Megan and started inviting the young girl to major competitions where she continued to impress and achieve top placements. Megan's story became an example of how one can draw positive lessons from failures and use them as a stimulus for personal development. Her story inspired others, showing that despite obstacles, success can be achieved by maintaining perseverance and self-belief. Today, I will tell you about the adventure of my friends from the new update in the Avatar world. But first, about the main thing. And let's start with the characters themselves. Today, I'm going to tell you the secret of a character you all probably know. This is Tina. She works as a salesperson on the third floor at the mall. However, she is the most mysterious character in Avatar World. None of the townsfolk know her secret, but I'm going to tell it to you now. One day, when it was time for her to go home, 
a very strange old man in a hat approached the cash register. The old man said something very slurred to Tina and ran away. Tina was scared. She didn't understand what was going on, and yet the girl went home as she had planned. By the way, Tina lives very far from the city, so she goes home by train. Tina arrived at the train station and something strange happened. There was this strange old man sitting on a bench. Tina, scared and surprised, went up to the old man and asked him why he was following her. The old man smiled and said, you are the key to saving Avatar World. Tina couldn't understand what he was talking about, but the old man started to reveal his secret to her. You have a unique gift, the old man said. You are able to see and interact with those beyond this world. Tina was shocked. The old man told her that she was the link between the human world and the world of spirits and beings from other dimensions. Tina, despite her fear and bewilderment, decided to accept her destiny. The old man gave her an artifact, a magical hat that gave her the ability to see the hidden aspects of the world. Now she was to use her new abilities to protect the town from unseen threats and to help spirits in need. Thus began a new chapter in Tina's life. She became the caretaker, the protector of the border between the worlds. She had to solve mysterious problems and help beings from other dimensions. Her co-workers at work didn't know about her abilities, and Tina remained a mystery to the ordinary townspeople. Although her life became more complicated, Tina accepted her new role with an open heart and determination to protect her world. All the townspeople had no idea of the amazing power their ordinary shop girl had gained. Hello friends, today I will tell you the secret of a character that you all probably know. Her name is Tina, and she works as a salesperson on the third floor of a shopping center. However, she is the most mysterious character in Avatar World. None of the city's residents know her secret. But now, I will tell you. One day, when it was time for her to go home, a very strange old man in a hat approached Tina's cash register. The old man said something very indistinctly to Tina and ran away. Tina was scared she didn't understand what was happening. Nevertheless, she went home as planned. By the way, Tina lives very far from the city, so she returns home by train. Tina arrived at the train station, and something strange happened. The old man was sitting on a bench. Tina, frightened and surprised, approached the old man and asked him why he was following her. The old man smiled and said, You are the key to saving Avatar World. Tina couldn't understand what he was talking about, but the old man began to reveal his secret. You possess a unique gift. You are able to see and interact with those who are beyond this world. Tina was shocked. The old man told her that Tina is capable of opening portals to the parallel world of Avatar World, but she would need something for that. Yes, it's the old man's hat. The mysterious old man gave her his hat, and since then, Tina has become the most unusual salesperson in Avatar World. Together with her friends, they open portals right in the shopping center and travel to the parallel universe of Avatar World. Now I will tell you the story of an ordinary character at first glance. Her name is Betty, and she often hangs out at the skate park. Betty loves this place, but she doesn't know how to skateboard. But one day, something unusual happened to her, and today I will tell you about it. Betty has been visiting the skate park for a long time, but she couldn't even perform the simplest tricks. One day, after yet another failed attempt, a couple of teenagers noticed her and started laughing at her. Betty was hurt by this, but she simply walked away to another part of the skate park to continue practicing. And suddenly, a guy approached her. He told her that he often sees Betty at the skate park and notices her efforts to learn how to ride. Suddenly, the guy took out his skateboard and gave it to Betty. She didn't expect it and immediately refused the gift. But the guy told her that this skateboard was magical. It will help you learn how to ride and perform the coolest tricks in the entire Avatar world, the guy said. Betty accepted the gift, but didn't believe in this strange story. The next day, Betty decided to try out her gift. And on her first try, she managed to perform a simple trick. Within a couple of weeks, little Betty was riding better than anyone else in the Avatar world. Every resident knew about her. She wanted to thank the guy who gave her the gift and managed to find him with difficulty. And then he told her that the skateboard was actually ordinary and Betty achieved everything on her own. She was very surprised, but not disappointed. They became friends and continued to conquer the hearts of the residents of Avatar World with their tricks together. Once upon a time, in the breathtaking world of Avatar World, where every day is filled with amazing events, we met an amazing girl named Darcy. Darcy was not just a princess, but a representative of an ancient aristocratic family that for centuries embodied refinement and splendor. Her home was like a real palace, full of luxury. There was a swimming pool, a butler, a maid, everything imaginable in a royal estate. Darcy's closet was breathtaking. Magnificent clothes, precious jewelry. Every detail of her appearance spoke of her high social status. However, behind all this luxury, Darcy was not only a beautiful lady, but also a person of intelligence and erudition. 
she was a lover of classical literature and art. Her evenings were filled with the sounds of music and conversations on philosophical topics. She was not only beautiful, but also clever, like a true sorceress. One day, Darcy invited me and our friends to her palace. This evening promised to be special. However, the robot servant who usually took care of the guests decided to arrange something unusual. He offered everyone amazing cocktails prepared with advanced technology. The situation became funny when the robot bartender offered us his amazing creations. But instead of being embarrassed, Darcy met this unusual turn of events with a smile. She suggested that everyone enjoy these amazing drinks and turn the evening into real magic. This is how Darcy demonstrated her willingness to embrace fun in the most unexpected circumstances. This funny episode allowed us to see that behind all her external luxury hides not only a representative of the upper class, but also a person with an open heart and a sense of humor. Since then, we've grown closer and Darcy has become not only a luminary of Avatar World's elite society, but a true friend. She not only shared her style and traditions, but taught us that fun can be found even in the most unexpected situations. The glitz of luxury became less important to us than the real precious moments of friendship that we treasure every day. I found myself in a corner where dreams turned into sweet realities. It was Charlie's amazing pastry shop, run by the talented and fun-loving Lassie. She was not just a pastry chef, but a true dessert wizard. Besides the wonderful flavor, her creations were true works of art. Greeting her guests with a wide smile, Lassie knew how to add a touch of magic to ordinary sweet things. She created desserts that not only delighted the taste buds, but also visually captured minds with their amazing shapes and colors. Walking into Charlie's pastry shop one day, I was surrounded by the aromas of fresh baked goods, caramel and vanilla. Lassie, radiant with her joy and inspiration, offered me a dessert making workshop. This offer did not leave me indifferent and I agreed to look forward to what would happen next. On the day of the workshop, Lassie and I gathered at the pastry shop. Charlie, enhancing the atmosphere with his incredible energy, witnessed the place light up with real magic. Lassie happily shared her magical secrets and I listened intently. We began to create together, mixing ingredients, forming amazing shapes, delicately decorating desserts. At the end of the masterclass, we had real works of art in front of us, ready to win the hearts of our guests. Lassie not only taught me the technique of creating magical desserts, but also put a part of her incredible energy into each of them. Thus began our amazing friendship with Lassie. We continued to meet at the pastry shop, not only to enjoy magical desserts, but also to create and share inspiration together. Lassie turned out to be not only a dessert magician, but also a wonderful friend. We created magical moments together and kept them alive like sweet memories that bring a smile. After our first workshop at Charlie's Pastry Shop, Lassie and I became inseparable friends. Together, we made magic not only in the world of desserts, but also in Avatar World itself. Lassie was a true keeper of magic, and her ideas seemed limitless. One day, while walking the streets of Avatar World, we came across a little shop of dreamy ideas. The display cases were full of mysterious artifacts and unusual items. Behind the counter stood an ancient mage named Alden, whose eyes sparkled with wisdom and mystery. Alden quickly became part of our adventures. He told us about mysterious spells and artifacts that could add even more magic to our creations. From that point on, our workshops took on a new twist as we incorporated additional elements of magic into our desserts, making them not only delicious but magical as well. Lassie, Alden, and I became a true team of creatives at Avatar World. We decided to create a big festival of magic to share our amazing desserts with the inhabitants of this magical world. Lassie took on the role of creating the desserts. Alden offered to use his secret spells to create unique artifacts, and I decided to decorate our event with fireworks and glowing decorations. Preparing for the festival was an exciting journey. We tried new recipes, studied ancient spells, and shared inspiration. Lassie became more creative each day, creating desserts that seemed filled with magic itself. And then came the long-awaited day of the festival. The residents of Avatar World gathered to savor the magic of our creations. Lassie presented her latest masterpieces, sparkling desserts that changed colors and shapes under magical influence. Alden used his spells to create amazing illusions all around, and I gave it all a sparkle with fireworks and glowing decorations. The festival turned out to be a huge success. Everyone involved got a share of magic in every bite of dessert, and Avatar World was filled with enthusiastic cheers and joy. Our team became the real heroes of the magical world, 
creating memories that will be preserved in the hearts of Avatar World residents. Hello friends! Today I'm going to tell you a story about a mysterious character in Avatar World. You've all known him for a long time. This is a machinist named Carl. Carl has been working as a machinist for many decades. He spends most of his time at the train station or on trips, driving a train. However, he has a very mystical secret that none of the residents of Avatar World knows about. But today I will tell you about it. Every time Carl gets on his train and closes the door of his cabin, he quietly whispers something unknown. At first glance, it seems that he is just talking to himself, but there is something magical in his words. One day, a young passenger named Amelia decided to find out what was going on in the mysterious driver's cabin. She made her way inside the carriage before the train started moving. Looking into the cabin, she saw Carl whispering some ancient words. Amelia was amazed. She resolutely gets out of the train and tells her friend Luke about the strange behavior of the driver. Together, they decide to keep an eye on Carl to uncover his secret. Every day, Carl continues his mysterious rituals, never once noticing the observers. However, when night falls and the train stops at the station again, something incredible happens. Carl's cabin fills with light and he begins to emit a strange energy. Luke and Amelia can't contain their curiosity and burst into the cabin. Carl opens his eyes and his gaze is illuminated by a light that instantly disappears. He smiles and says that he is not just a machinist, but a guardian of ancient energies, maintaining balance in the world of Avatar World. Every train he drives carries with it a piece of magic, and his rituals allow him to maintain harmony in this world. Luke and Amelia remain amazed by this outright mystery, gaining new respect for the machinist named Carl, who is responsible for maintaining balance in Avatar World. The next character whose mysterious story I'm going to tell you today is a physical education teacher. At first glance, it looks simple enough, but it's not. This is the most unusual teacher in Avatar World, and now I'll tell you why. A physical education teacher named Edward is the brother of a machinist named Carl. Both brothers have always lived in a world of secrets and mysteries. Edward, despite his ordinary appearance, has unique abilities related to the control of energy in the body. One day, during a physical education lesson, Edward decides to demonstrate his unusual skills to his students. He walks to the center of the playground, closes his eyes and begins to meditate. As he concentrates, his body begins to emit light, and invisible bursts of energy appear around him. The students look with their mouths open, seeing how Edward easily flies through the air, forming streams of energy around himself. This sight amazes and delights everyone, and no one realizes that their teacher has a connection with the mysterious machinist Carl. Everyone in Avatar World starts asking questions and wondering about the origin of the brothers' unusual abilities. Edward, smiling, decides to share a secret. The brothers jointly preserve the balance in the world. Carl controlling the energy of trains, and Edward teaching students to control their bodies and developing their inner potential. Now I'm going to tell you a story about a super unusual character. You've never seen him in Avatar World, but today I'm going to show you him and where he is. It's a robot named Spike. He is one of the most mystical characters in the game. It is mystical because no one knows who is in this costume, but you will find out about it right now. Spike was unusual even for this world, where the most fantastic creatures meet. Its metal shell sparkled in the sun, giving the impression of something extraordinary. No one knew who was inside the suit, and many speculated who this mysterious pilot might be. Spike has become a legend in Avatar World, arousing the interest and awe of the residents of Avatar World. But one day, when the fog of mystery began to dissipate, something incredible happened. Suddenly, the robot opened its metal shell, and a figure completely wrapped in cloth came out of it. And so, before your eyes stood Ella, the most important character in Avatar World. Mysterious and enigmatic, she was the one who directed all the events in this amazing world. Her story, her decisions, her adventures, all this turned out to be behind the robot helmet, under which she hid, embodying her ideas and desires. Spike, as a robot, served for Ella as a kind of bridge between her personal world and Avatar world. Now that the mystery has been solved, the inhabitants of the world could better understand what was happening in their exciting adventures, and how Ella influenced the fate of this unique world. This is how the story of Spike ended, about a robot who was not only a mystical character, but also the key to the mysteries and secrets of Avatar world. Ella continued her adventures, and now the residents saw her in a completely different way, realizing that behind every bright character there may be something incredible and amazing. Now I'm going to tell the story of the next character. 
You have known her for a long time. Her name is Gwen, and she recently started working as a cashier in a supermarket. But Gwen is not just an ordinary cashier. She has a mystical secret that no one in Avatar world knows about. But today, I will tell you all about it. Gwen has always had a love for food, and after her workday, she would stay in the supermarket for a couple of hours to indulge in the products on the store shelves. But one day, a strange story unfolded. When Gwen was alone in the supermarket after work, she decided to try something new. She approached the section with exotic fruits and noticed a small box with the label Forbidden Fruit. Unable to resist her curiosity, she opened the box and discovered a berry. Gwen couldn't resist and took one berry to taste it. But when she took a small bite, something incredible happened. A wave of energy surged through her body, and she felt her consciousness expanding. It turned out that this mystical berry granted Gwen the ability to see and understand people's emotions. She became an empath, capable of sensing true feelings and intentions. This was her secret, one she kept hidden from everyone. Gwen decided to use her newfound abilities for good. She started recognizing people who needed help or support and offered them assistance. She could sense when someone was feeling down and tried to uplift their spirits. She noticed when someone was hiding their true emotions and helped them open up. Over time, the residents of Avatar World began to notice that Gwen somehow always knew what they needed. They would come to the supermarket not just for groceries but also for advice or simply to have a conversation with Gwen. She became a true source of support for many people, and her kindness and care spread far beyond the supermarket. Although Gwen continued her job as a cashier, her true calling was to help people. She realized that her abilities could make the world a better place, and she decided to use them for the benefit of all the residents of Avatar World. Now I will tell you the story of an ordinary character at first glance. Her name is Dorothy, and she works as a hairdresser. Dorothy has long been delighting the residents of Avatar World with her professionalism. But one day, an unusual story happened to her, and today, I will tell you about it. Dorothy was the most popular hairdresser in all of Avatar World, but one day, a newcomer arrived at work who achieved great success and popularity in a short period of time. Dorothy didn't want to share the spotlight and decided to undermine her competitor. Drowning in her envy, Dorothy decided to use her professional access to cosmetic products and mix a different hair dye into the newcomer's supplies. She hoped that this would cause serious problems and lead to his dismissal, making her the sole star hairdresser in town again. When a very important client of the newcomer hairdresser visited Dorothy's salon and received an unexpected result from coloring, the anxieties did not wait long. The client's hair acquired a bright green shade that was far from his expectations. The situation was unpleasant and uncomfortable for the client, and the newcomer hairdresser was facing dismissal. A few days later, Dorothy began to realize the foolishness and cruelty of her actions. She decided to rectify her mistake. Dorothy found a way to meet with the newcomer hairdresser and confessed her guilt to him. She explained that her envy and desire for popularity had blinded her, and she regretted the consequences of her actions. The newcomer hairdresser, though hurt and disappointed, decided to accept her apologies. Dorothy and the newcomer hairdresser decided to visit the client whose hair had been ruined together. They offered him a free color restoration and the best hairstyle in Avatar World for free. The client, though unhappy with what had happened, agreed to the offer. Together, Dorothy and the new hairdresser fixed the client's hairstyle. They worked together, exchanging experience and ideas. Then Dorothy realized that they were a great team together. She suggested that the newcomer work together, and since then, the two of them have been delighting the residents of Avatar World. Hello, dear viewers. Today, I will tell you about the adventure of my friends from the new update in the Avatar World. But first, about the main thing. And let's start with the characters themselves. Harry seemed to be the most mysterious figure in Avatar World. He didn't just create the art of magic. He lived it, as if it were his own magic. We met in a brightly colored hall at one of the art festivals. Harry performed in front of a crowd of amazed spectators, and his tricks made them scream with amazement. His performance transformed ordinary objects into magical ones. But the most amazing thing was that he did it without apparent labor, as if all his tricks came straight from the heart. One day after the show, Harry and I started talking. He told me that he had to put a lot of time and effort into mastering these tricks, and he shares his secrets with others with joy too, to teach, to help, to inspire new magicians, to maintain an atmosphere of wonder and excitement around him. The time he didn't spend on stage, he preferred to spend practicing, perfecting, and learning new tricks. He often met with other magicians in the evenings to exchange ideas and experiences, and each such evening brought new discoveries and inspiration. Harry was not only a master of magic tricks, but also of a delicate nature. Off stage, he was kind and responsive, easily finding a common language with different people. His look full of a lively smile was always a pleasant sight for others. He was a quiet example of how diligence and creativity can be combined in one person. Tricks were his life, 
his passion. Harry treasured the moments when his tricks caused amazement and delight in the audience. It was his fuel, making him shine even brighter. He loved not only performing already prepared tricks, but also creating his own unique tricks that no one had ever seen before. However, amidst all this love for magic, he had things he didn't like. He did not tolerate bad faith or attempts to unlock the secrets of his tricks. To him, magic and wizardry was more than just an art. It was something to be cherished and respected. The most important thing about Harry was his tireless thirst to amaze and delight people with his tricks. He did it not for fame or praise, but to give a sense of wonder and happiness to others. One day in the enchanted world of Avatar World, where every day brought new adventures, I meet an amazing girl named Laura. Her name is Laura, and she has been working as a cleaner in a house on the outskirts of Avatar World for many years. But in reality, Laura is not just an ordinary cleaner. She has a mystical secret that no one in Avatar World knows about. But today, I will tell you all about it. At night, after finishing her cleaning duties, Laura doesn't go home to sleep. She has a mysterious hobby. Every time after work, she would go to the closed concert stage. Laura dreams of becoming a singer, but she doesn't have any time during the day for that. One day, something unusual happened. Laura stood on an empty stage. She loved to sing but was shy about her hobby. She trembled with excitement but quickly gathered her courage and started to sing. Her voice filled the space to a world of music and emotions. But suddenly, a mysterious observer emerged from the darkness. He stood in the shadows, watching Laura. She noticed him, became very frightened, and started to run away from the strange person. But he stopped her and told Laura that he was searching for young talents to perform for all the residents of Avatar World. He was very impressed by Laura's voice and decided to give her a chance. Laura was stunned. This was her dream opportunity, a chance to showcase her talent to the world. She agreed and accepted the man's offer. In the days leading up to the concert, Laura practiced singing and worked on her performances. She received help from experienced musicians and coaches who helped her unlock her potential. Finally, the long-awaited day of the concert arrived. Laura stood on a massive stage, facing a crowd of people ready to hear her voice. When she started to sing, the audience came alive, and her music captured the hearts of everyone present. After her performance, Laura was overwhelmed with feelings of joy and fulfillment. She realized that her secret was no longer a secret. Her gift had been revealed to the world, and she was ready to continue on the path of music. Thus, Laura, the cleaning lady with a mystical talent, became a famous singer in Avatar World. Her story became an inspiration for many people, showing that even modest and unusual endeavors can lead to great success if one believes in oneself and follows their dreams. In the faraway world of Avatar World, where magic and reality intertwine, lives an amazing girl named Chelsea. This fantastic world is filled with bright colors and unusual adventures, and Chelsea has become a true symbol of kindness and loyalty. From birth, Chelsea had a unique gift, the gift of love and care for animals. Her days as a child were filled with caring for the little creatures. She treated them, fed them, and set up shelters for them. The little fairy with caring hands became a true friend of all the inhabitants of the Avatar world. Over time, however, Chelsea realized that her mission extended far beyond caring for animals. She decided to become a doctor and dedicate her life to the medical arts. Studying at the University of Medicine brought her knowledge and skills, and now Chelsea helps dozens of people at Avatar World every day. Children, adults, and seniors. During her school years, Chelsea was often referred to as the nerd because of her passion for knowledge. She was the geeky kid who always enjoyed doing her studies, but the unpleasant epithets and taunts did not break her spirit. On the contrary, they made Chelsea even stronger, encouraging her to become who she was. The meeting with Chelsea took place at Avatar World Hospital, where she worked. Her appearance didn't stand out. Plain hair, plain hair color, only her glasses were a reminder of days spent at home behind textbooks, but in her eyes shone a spark of dedication and a desire to help others. Chelsea does not limit herself to her professional life. She is a tireless learner, reading the classics and modern works, striving to stay ahead of the curve in her field. Her love of reading has stayed with her and she uses the knowledge to become a better person every day. Behind her serious exterior is a warm and kind heart. Chelsea loves walking in nature, enjoying the beauty of Avatar world, and just being in harmony with the world around her. She has become a true heroine of this magical world, whose good deeds inspire and fill everyone who meets her on this amazing adventure with light. Join an exciting journey in Avatar World, where magic and amazing adventures permeate every corner. The last person I'm going to tell you about today is about a person who has made a special contribution to this wonderful world, Charlie. Charlie is a bright personality, full of joy and warmth, 
His cheerful and open character immediately wins the hearts of everyone who meets him in Avatar World. He grew up in a family of real confectioners, where the love of sweets was like air, an integral part of life. Since early childhood, Charlie has had a small cap on his head, symbolizing his future in the art of pastry making. As Charlie grew up and decided to follow in his parents' footsteps, the Avatar world became home to the cozy pastry shop. It was in this incredible place, filled with the aromas of fresh baked goods and magic, that we met him for the first time. Every corner of his patisserie seems to radiate warmth and joy, and the delicious desserts created by Charlie's hands have become true works of art. One day I wanted a sweet dessert, and since we only have one pastry shop, I went there. That's where Charlie and I met. I learned more about pastry and desserts that day than I had learned in my entire life. We literally talked about it for hours on end. For Charlie, pastry making is not just a profession. It is a passion, creativity, and an opportunity to turn ordinary ingredients into real magic. He spends hours talking about the intricacies of making dough, different types of bread, and how each dessert's unique flavor is created. This passion makes his pastry shop one of the most unique places in Avatar world, where every visitor feels special. Besides his love for pastry, Charlie shares another passion, music. His pastry shop is filled with a variety of music, from classical to heavy rock. This unusual musical background creates a cozy atmosphere, where every visitor feels warmth and joy. Charlie is a real wizard in the world of tastes and sounds. He is not just a confectioner, he creates a fairy tale for everyone who gets into his cozy confectionery. His art of touch turns ordinary desserts into amazing creations, and every visit to his pastry shop is an exciting adventure. Hello, dear viewers. Today I will tell you about the adventure of my friends from the new update in the Avatar world. But first, about the main thing. And let's start with the characters themselves. Let's take a deeper look into the life of Jack, the farm boy who brought a fresh breeze to Avatar World. Jack, a country boy from a cozy village, came to Avatar World feeling like a fish in water even though he had some challenges. He adored his home village, but the new horizons were a source of exciting discoveries for him. As soon as Jack arrived at Avatar World, he realized that this world was full of amazing possibilities. He had always dreamed of amazing adventures, and here he found his element. Although the village way of life was different from the new, Jack has always strived to find joy and pleasure in the small things. When we first met, I learned that fishing wasn't just a hobby for Jack, it was his passion. He shared with me his techniques and tricks that helped him catch some of the biggest and most interesting fish in Avatar World. For Jack, fishing was not only a way to have fun, but also a way to forget, to immerse himself in the natural world, to take a break from the hustle and bustle and enjoy the peace. However, nature was not the only thing that attracted Jack. He admired animals and their behavior. Every species, every creature in this wonderful world was a source of wonder and interest for him. So every walk he took in the woods was a true exploration. We spent a lot of time talking about his village and life in Avatar World. He told me about rural life, how he helped his family on the farm, and how he greeted the sunrises and sunsets in his native place. Every time he talked about his village, his eyes lit up with joy, and it was beautiful. By the way, Jack turned out to be a very smart and intelligent guy. He loved to read books, especially those about life outside his village. He was eager to learn new things, to learn, to develop, and to see the world more broadly. Although nature was his main passion, he was always willing to try something new. Jack was sincere and honest, always helping those in need. His simplicity and warmth of heart won the hearts of all who met him. He wasn't just a part of Avatar World, he was a part of it in the full sense of the word. I have an incredible story about a girl named Miley. Miley is a real ray of sunshine. As soon as she appears, everyone around her starts smiling. Her name means smiles, and she does it for real. She truly fits this name like no other. A girl who is always smiling is incredibly positive and joyful. She prefers the color yellow, and her outfit, like sunbeams, is always pleasing to the eyes. She loves monsters, and so she almost always dresses as one. One day during Halloween, I met Miley. At first I thought it was her Halloween costume, but it turns out she goes around dressed like that most of the time. She doesn't just dress like that, it's her unique style and embodiment of her love of fantasy and fun. Oddly enough, Miley just loves monsters, so she wants to be like one. Miley is a real powerhouse. She loves coming up with fun games and challenges for her friends in Avatar World. 
She is constantly coming up with new ideas to make the game even more fun and exciting. Her imagination knows no bounds. When we met, she was having fun with a group of friends at a Halloween party. She was turning up the lights, having fun, smiling and lighting everyone around her. We immediately found a theme to connect, a love of fun and adventure. One of her favorite things to do in the world of Avatar is to create her own unique monsters. She just loves making up and drawing new monster friends for herself and her friends. They become her favorite with their habits and adventures. As soon as she talks about them, everything around her just comes alive and enters her fantasy world. She doesn't like boring moments and bad moods, and neither do I. Miley always tries to transform ordinary things in amazing adventures. It comes easily and naturally to her. She loves active games and always finds a way to cheer up her friends. Whether it's dancing, playing games, socializing, or just smiling, I always find my encounters with Miley interesting and positive. She is a true medicine who teaches Oost to see the bright sides of life and enjoy every moment. Now I want to tell you an exciting story about a boy named Oliver. He is a true friend and adventurer in Avatar world. Oliver is Miley's faithful companion. Their friendship started from the very childhood. Together they explored amazing corners of the world, met monsters and solved mysteries. Dressed in similar costumes, as if they were part of the universe themselves, Oliver and Miley always have fun together. I met Oliver through Miley. She introduced him as her best friend, and from the first moment, we became an inseparable team. Oliver is a boy with an extremely bright eye and incredible activity. He is always full of ideas and ready to plan adventures. Oliver is a real master of castles and riddles. He loves to arrange various pranks and puzzles for his friends, constantly keeping everyone in suspense no matter what is waiting for his next cunning plan. Everyone around him waits anxiously to see what Oliver will come up with next. Despite his mischievousness, Oliver is a true intellectual. His love of books makes him not only an engaging conversationalist, but also knowledgeable of many interesting people. He enjoys looking at these definitions and is always willing to learn something new. Oliver loves adventures and meeting monsters, but more than that, he creates fun and joy all around him. He is a true magician of the art of laughter and surprise. On his account, dozens of successful pranks and pleasant surprises for friends. His dream is to make the world brighter and more cheerful. Together with Miley and other friends, Oliver organizes a real holiday every day. He likes to organize fun events at which all the inhabitants of the world of Avatar can participate. But like everyone, Oliver has his own little wonders. He doesn't like it when the world is too quiet and sad. At times like this, he comes up with new entertainment and jokes to lift the spirits around him. So my friends, hold on tight. Incredible adventures and fun pranks await you with Oliver and his friendly company in a Watar world. Meeting Evelyn was like opening a new page in an adventure book. On the day of our first meeting, when I arrived at the venue where her drawings were being exhibited, I felt as if I had plunged into a magical atmosphere. The rows of paintings were great in the world of her representations, where peace and mystery reigned. Evelyn, though not particularly sociable, all her tenderness and sensitivity seemed at once. She quietly and calmly showed attention to her drawings, as if to convey a piece of her soul through each line of the picture. One of her popular ones was special. It was a painting of monsters mysteriously peering at the viewer's gaze from a dense forest. Each monster looked like an individual with its own personality and appearance, as if they were brought to life on a planetary scale. As we started talking, she became livelier, coming alive as we talked about her hobbies. Her purple hair and purple suit immediately showed that it was her favorite color. She explained that for her it symbolizes versatility and harmony a special creativity that always accompanies her. Her great love for the world of monsters became clear, and it left me in admiration. Together with Oliver and Miley, they drew me into their fascinating world. They spend a lot of time playing and learning about the characteristics of monsters. As it turns out, Evelyn and Oliver and Miley have been friends since the beginning of Avatar World. They were the three musketeers, their friendship intertwined with all the events in the game. As for hobbies, drawing is like breathing for Evelyn. She draws almost every day, sometimes even I, who studies her subjects, learns something new about herself. Besides drawing, she loves to read, and that was the reason she started wearing glasses. But even this did not stop her from immersing herself in the world of books with even more passion. That said, she is not particularly fond of noisy events and prefers quiet corners. But her friends have always reached out to her, and allowed her to go past the boundary of her comfort zone. Her deep sensitivity, her talent, and her passion for drawing I make her an account of Avatar World. 
Evelyn taught us that silence is also a way to communicate, an art, and it's far from easy. Hello, dear viewers. Today, I will tell you about the adventure of my friends from the new update in From Avatar World. But first, about the main thing, and let's start with the characters themselves. I want to share a story about my friend Betty from Avatar World. She is the sweetest and funniest cat girl I have ever met. When I woke up after the Avatar World update, the first person I met was Betty. She was dressed in the cutest New Year's costume I had ever seen, a red costume with white fur. She had hair white as snow, rosy cheeks, and a cute little cat nose. It turned out that Betty was Santa's helper himself. When it's New Year's Eve, she helps deliver presents to the children. Her huge, kind heart and her desire to bring joy to everyone brings a holiday to everyone. All of her free time during this magical time of year is spent helping Santa. She prepares presents, decorates the Christmas tree, and helps everyone during the New Year's rush. But besides that, she also likes to sing New Year's songs, do round dances, and play snowballs with her friends. By the way, that's how we met her. After school, we went to the schoolyard with our friends and played snowballs. Betty was there too. It was very fun and exciting. Betty loves New Year's celebrations. She is the happiest person in Avatar world at this time. She finds joy in everything about Christmas, the decorations, the presents, the coziness, and the fun. Her favorite time of the year is December, when preparations for the most magical holiday begin. Betty is Santa's real helper who makes the New Year's holidays even more magical. Her kindness and desire to bring joy to everyone around her is a real miracle. The next person I want to tell you a story about is Nick from Avatar World. Nick was one of the most good-natured and calm boys I have ever met. When you looked at Nick, you could tell who Santa's main helper was. Nick had white hair, a big white beard, and a very nice red suit. Nick's cape gave him quite a bit of brutality. We met Nick during snowball fights outside our school. He was always the center of attention with his calm nature and kindness. Nick was great at controlling himself in any situation, and nothing could throw him off balance. It turned out that Nick was Santa's chief helper himself. His calmness and patience were just right, especially on the eve of New Year's Eve. He helped Santa in preparing presents and organizing all the New Year's hustle and bustle. Every time a situation got out of hand, Nick took it into his own hands and saved everyone. With the exception of working with Santa, Nick loved to paint. He was a talented artist and often drew Christmas cards and decorated the school hallway with his paintings during the holidays. The Avatar World Our Residence favorite gift from Nick was a card made by him. Nick loved moments of peace and quiet. He found pleasure in reading books, drawing, and walking around the quiet corners of Avatar World. His favorite time of year, of course, was New Year's Eve, when he could fully assist Santa and create holiday cheer. Nick was a true model of calmness and kindness. His ability to stay calm and help others made New Year's Eve even more magical. Another character I want to tell you about is Olivia, one of the most colorful personalities of this magical place. From her appearance too, you can immediately draw conclusions. Pink hair suits her very well. The green costume gives her away right away. She is Santa's elf. Olivia's main task is to make presents. Olivia is wonderful. I'm really glad I met her. Looking at the paint on her face, you can tell right away. She loves to paint. Olivia was an elf whose pink hair and green costume always made her recognizable among all Santa's helpers. We first met Olivia during one of the winter fairs in Avatar World. She was standing at her table decorated with the most magical Christmas cards and gifts. Olivia smiled graciously and explained how she creates her marvelous artwork for anyone who wants to delight their friends or family with special gifts. Olivia was part of Santa's team and had an important role in producing gifts for children. Her talent was in turning simple items into real works of art. She created amazing designs that decorated Christmas gifts, making them even more special and magical. Olivia loved drawing and found her inspiration in it. She believed that everyone could be an artist if they had a love for creating. She spent a lot of time creating new illustrations that added an enchanting atmosphere to any holiday. In her free time, Olivia loved to walk through forests and fields where she was inspired by the beauty of nature. She realized that nature was a true source of inspiration for creativity. In addition, she was a keen reader and believed that there was something magical in every book. Olivia was a true wizard with a brush and colors. Her creative gift made the new year even more colorful and magical for all children and adults. Her art and the joy she brought always remained in the hearts of all who knew her. Olivia showed that creativity and kindness can transform the world. 
Now let's meet my last friend, Morty. He was such a jolly and kind elf who loved winter more than anything. Let me tell you a story about his amazing character and his love of snowball fights. We met Morty in the main square of Avatar World during the winter festival. He was happily organizing snow battles near the large Christmas tree. It was incredibly fun. However, Morty was so immersed in the game that at one point he slipped on the freshly fallen snow and got an abrasion on his cheek. Morty always looked amazing. He wore a green suit that made him look like a real elf. He wore his suit proudly, even when he was visibly agitated by the abrasion on his cheek, introducing himself confidently and cheerfully to all his new friends. Morty was an enthusiastic and master of snowball fights. He was always inventing new games and organizing snow battles for anyone who wanted to join in. He had a knack for getting teams together and inspiring everyone to play and have fun. No matter what side you were on, Morty was always fun to be with. Morty loved winter and snow. He assured everyone that winter was the most magical time of the year. To him, every new snowfall was an invitation to a new adventure. He said that winter games turned ordinary days into real magic. Every winter was a new story for Morty, filled with fun and outdoor games. He taught us that we could have fun in any weather and that even a little abrasion on the cheek shouldn't ruin the mood. After all, it is important to have fun and create vivid memories. Morty was a real source of fun and joy during the winter days in Avatar World. His boundless enthusiasm and love for games made every day of winter magical. He taught us that it is important to keep the joy alive even on the snowiest and coldest days, and that even minor abrasions are just part of the adventure. And lastly, I have a story about a boy who has brought a lot of joy and fun to Avatar World. This boy is Raphael, and he is just incredibly kind and caring. Raphael is a person who always creates coziness and joy around him. He has a unique talent, the ability to spread smiles and joy to everyone who comes to him. His main hobby is his love for ice cream. He simply adores this treat. That's why Raphael works as a salesman in an ice cream parlor, where his unusual outfits always attract attention. His apron decorated with an image of ice cream and his hat, which looks like an ice cream cone, make him simply unforgettable. I met Raphael at the heart of it all, an ice cream coffee shop. It was the place where he worked and where you felt at home every time you walked in. He was always there, smiling and helping each customer choose just the right ice cream that made you smile. The first time I met Raphael, his kindness and warmth immediately struck me. He knew how to give a moment of happiness, even if it was just a choice of ice cream. And his dedication and concern for making sure every customer left happy was simply breathtaking. In addition to his job, he was also very talented at many other things. He loved to play the guitar and sing and was able to tell funny stories that always made everyone around him laugh. In his free time, Raphael liked to walk in the park and collect beautiful shells on the riverbank. They reminded him of the happy moments of his childhood. Raphael was a person who liked to share his positive emotions with others. He did not like conflicts and always tried to resolve any situation with peace and kindness. Together with him, every day was filled with smiles and joy. Meetings with Raphael always left a feeling of warmth and comfort in my heart. He was a real treasure in our world, a man who could simply turn an ordinary day into something special and magical. Jessie is a wonderful, kind, sweet girl. She's creative, loves to make music. Everyone in Avatar World loves to listen to her music. She's a welcome guest at any party. And you'd think that's where we met her. But no, Jessie loves animals. We met her a few times at the pet store. But Jessie and I met a long time ago. One day, I went to a disco where all my friends were gathered. In the middle of the party, I saw a shy girl at the end of the hall. She was dressed in brightly colored clothes and looked very confused. I went over to meet her and it turned out that she had just arrived at Avatar World and did didn't know anyone here, so she felt confused. That's how our friendship began. From that moment on, we started spending quite a bit of time together. We went on walks together and I showed her around the city, the school we all went to, the stores, the pond, and more. That's when I learned that Jessie has her own video blog. She records videos in which she tells what happened to her. In one of these videos, she confessed that she dreamed of playing for a big audience. She dreamed of becoming a singer. At that moment, I decided that I had to help her fulfill her dream. I started introducing her to all of my friends. She shared her kindness and musical magic with everyone. She had a great voice and played every musical instrument she could get her hands on. One day, the school announced that there would be a concert today. That's when I realized this was my chance to help Jessie fulfill her childhood dream. I met up with my friends and told them the plan. Everyone agreed to help me. In the evening, we all met up for a party, dancing, having fun, and having a good time. At one point, 
Our DJ called Jesse. Jesse was surprised, and everyone else was excited. Sarah, that was our DJ's name. Sarah told Jesse that she had seen her play musical instruments, and she was sure she would be great at the DJ desk. Jesse was overjoyed that her dream had come true, and we were all happy to help her make it happen. Well, while we're all having fun at the party, I want to tell you about another character. I once met an amazing girl named Maggie. She was a real whirlwind of energy, wearing a green jumpsuit and a bright yellow cap on her head. Maggie had big yellow eyes and long green hair that seemed to sparkle brighter than anything else in the world. We made friends with Maggie right away. She turned out to be very kind and friendly. She loves to have fun and loves rides, especially trampolines. We spent the whole day together, riding rides and enjoying our adventures at Avatar World. Maggie is a real fan of all the rides. She is always at the center of the fun and loves jumping on the trampoline or riding the slides. She believes that rides make life brighter and more fun. We met Maggie at the most amazing place in this world, a fun amusement park. She was a real energetic kinetic pendulum swinger and we soon became friends. We had fun together until it was completely dark and I walked Maggie home. Maggie loves having fun with her friends and experiencing new rides. She loves the feeling of speed and freedom that rides give her. Her enthusiasm and joy is contagious and with her, every day is an adventure. Maggie is a real spark of energy in Avatar world. Her love of rides and fun makes this world bright and exciting. I am so glad I met Maggie and spent an exciting day with her. Maggie is so full of energy and joy and is always ready to bring fun and adventure to Avatar World. One day, while walking around Avatar World, I met a lovely girl with long pink hair, big glasses, and wearing a beautiful pink dress. It was Susan. She had the most beautiful eyes that shone with joy and kindness. We became friends with Susan right away. She was so kind and fun to be around. We explored Avatar World together and I learned that Susan just loved ice cream. Every time we saw an ice cream store, she would glow with joy. Susan just loves yummy goodies, especially ice cream. She often goes to local stores and cafes to try new flavors. She also loves sharing ice cream with all her friends and making the world a little brighter with her kindness. Susan loves exploring the world with me, discovering new places and trying delicious treats. Her love of ice cream and other yummy treats makes her so fun and joyful. She is just contagiously happy. Susan is a real joy to all who know her. Her love of ice cream and fun makes this avatar world even more wonderful. Her kindness and cheerfulness make every day with Maggie a real adventure. So Susan, with her love of flavor one day, when I was walking around avatar world, I met an absolutely amazing girl named Nikki. She was the real kind soul of this world. Nikki had beautiful white wings, a huge green tile, and even a big moon on her forehead. This made her truly unforgettable and unique. Nikki always made her friends happy with her fun and joy. She loves to have fun with her friends and together they had great adventures. Nikki's favorite thing to do is to walk in the woods and enjoy nature. She believes that nature always helps to energize her and make her happy. Nikki has always been extremely kind and outgoing. She was willing to help everyone around her. Each of her day started with a smile and she tried to give her joy to everyone around her. Her kindness made the world a better and brighter place. We met Nikki in the most unusual place, in a clearing in the forest. <laughs> she turned out to be so friendly and kind that I immediately felt we had become real friends. We spent the whole day together and Nikki told me many interesting stories about her adventures in Avatar World. Nikki loves playing outdoors and enjoying moments of fun with her friends. She loves flying on her wings and exploring mysterious places in Avatar World. Her main hobby is communing with nature. She believes that nature always gives a lot of joy and amazing discoveries. One day while walking around town in Avatar World, I met Mike. He had bright yellow hair, blue eyes, and was wearing a blue hoodie and red pants. He had a bandage on his head. He'd banged himself while drawing graffiti. And as no surprise, we met him at the hospital when he had just gotten his head bandaged. He looked sad and upset, and I decided to meet him and offer to spend time with him. He immediately cheered up and agreed to my proposal. Mike was an amazing artist. He created incredible graffiti drawings that adorned the walls of the city. He used bright colors and brought gray walls to life with his amazing creations. Mike's main occupation is creating graffiti. He paints his masterpieces on walls and even taught his friends how to create beautiful drawings. He also loved playing outside with his friends and spending time with his family. Almost all of the drawings you'll see in Avatar World are his work. Everyone in town knows Mike and wishes he would do a drawing at their house. Because of his hobby, everyone in town knew Mike. I was very surprised to see how many people Mike knows in Avatar World. Mike loves to draw. 
He finds inspiration in everything around him, even simple things he sees in his own way. He enjoys solving puzzles, playing soccer, and reading comic books. He believes that art makes the world brighter and more beautiful. Mike was a talented artist who made the world brighter with his amazing drawings. His love for graffiti and creativity inspired everyone around him and he always tried to make the world around him more colorful and interesting. And lastly, I'd like to tell you about another friend of mine. One day while I was traveling through Avatar World, I met Duke. He had such unusual long purple hair and he was always wearing a robe. He had a stethoscope hanging around his neck and his eyes shone with kindness and care. Duke was a doctor. He worked at the big hospital in the center of Avatar World. He loved helping people and treating them. Every day, he met new patients and tried to make them feel better. One of the most remarkable facts about Duke was in his kindness. He loved people and was always willing to help. He would smile at anyone who came his way, and his good deeds made the world an even better place. Duke loves medicine and helping people. He also loves learning new things, always trying to be the best doctor he can be. His stethoscope was always with him even when he was resting, because helping people was his true calling. Duke was a true hero in Avatar World. His kindness, love of medicine, and desire to help others made this world even brighter and kinder. He was always willing to help, and his wonderful deeds inspired everyone around him.